How's it going, guys? And welcome to Gabe's Reef. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> I literally waited over a week to get Tigger Pods. Now, I dumped the whole bottle in there. And this Dragonette is making sure he gets his fill. Um, to be honest with you, I don't mind him eating a bunch. Um, he's gone quite a while without them. Um, fortunately for me, he did eat um, some um, frozen shrimp, or it might have been a lot. Not It might have been not as good for him. Um, there's actually a bunch right there on the glass, but for some reason, he went back down here. Um, they've been pecking him kind of everywhere. Um, I dumped... The bottle had quite a few in there. Most of them looked like they made it to the rock work, which is their best chance of survival and uh, reproducing. Um, look at this anemone. That's funny how he's laying there, but he seems to be happy there. As long as he's doing good, I'm fine with where he's at. Um, or doesn't sting any corals. Um, but yeah, they've been really going to town eating the uh, tiger pods. Which, I, which is understandable, you know, they were hungry. So hopefully they're getting a good amount of nutrition. Um, I'm going to be giving them some shrimp probably as soon as tomorrow just to kind of keep, you know, keep them fed. Hopefully they eat enough. Um, you know, my, some one of my buddies tried to say something like, oh, uh, since you give them, you know, uh, to, since you gave them more tiger pods, they're not going to eat the shrimp. Well, we'll see. Uh, hopefully they do. Um, you know, because tiger pods, it's very easy to eat a bunch of them. And even if they're not reproducing, you know, they don't last very long. So the fish ate a few themselves. So everyone pretty much got a chance to eat some. Um, they get fed every morning, so they weren't, like, you know, starving or anything. But they're kind of all over the place now. Tonight, I'm going to try to use a light and basically try to um, see where they went and what numbers I have after, you know, during the day. Uh, I've tried in the past before to use, um, you know, use a light and then try to find them at nighttime. I could not find them. Um, so hopefully I can see what we got going on. Let's see him eat some Tigger Pods. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now you gotta see them. There's a bunch right there on the glass. That's good. He's getting his fill. I don't know if it takes too much energy to stay up there or what, but he's kind of just cruising. Uh, zoom in on the corals. Does it look good? There is the leather. Another leather tree. Kind of, and then the candies. Those look really, really big and beautiful. Do love that. There's the enemy up close. And then the low bow doesn't look bad at all. Low bow doesn't look bad at all. He actually opened his mouth and ate some shrimp. That was crazy. I never knew uh, the low bow ate shrimp, but he did. Um, the mushrooms are looking absolutely stunning. I mean, look how big they are. They're doing better here than it ever did anywhere else. I'm really happy about that. Um, everything looks good besides the enemies. Uh, I don't know why he, the green star polyps aren't really out. Um, I don't know if something upset him. You can see them actually growing onto the rocks right there. See on the edges how they're growing onto the rocks. So, so they're still growing, covering the rocks, um, growing on that backside. I don't know why they're not out, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if something would just walked over them or what. Or the snail, I think, crossed over them maybe is what it was. That snail right. Let me zoom out, sorry. That snail right there, I think, crossed over them. So that can cause them to close. Um, now, 
looking around to this anemone, he knows, he's got to know where the light is. Because you can see how he's kind of moving towards it. Before he was completely underneath it, he's starting to see where the light's at. That's where you need to go, buddy, to the light. Um, there's the bandit shrimp. The rocks are starting to get cultured pretty nicely. Uh, I don't know if this is cytobacteria right here. This little bit of reddish color might be. Not sure exactly. Um, I know it's that reddish color. Uh, what else? So pretty much... It, there's actually some tigger pods on that floating thing right there. Uh, they're pretty much everywhere, honestly. Um, I mainly want them to get into rock work and reproduce. Um, the torches seem like to be getting almost longer every day. They're getting longer. That's a good sign. I want them to grow. Uh, there's a snail and a hermit right there. <laughs> They're moving that core right there. You can see how it turned that dark purple color right there. He's not happy about that. But other than that, he's doing really well. Uh, what else? That free core right there that was on the rocks. And then what else? That's pretty much it, really. Um, I don't know where my emerald crab is. He gets in really tight areas, so he's a little bit harder to find. Honestly. Uh, you never know where he might be. I'm glad the slugs are doing their jobs, going around cleaning a little bit. I have not seen Aptasia since I used the the, the Joe's juice. I've not seen a I've not seen a single Aptasia, which is really good. Uh, their product works as advertised, and it was cheaper than Aptasia X. It was cheaper. Aptasia X at a fish store is like fifteen bucks, even online. Even a smaller bottle was over ten dollars, and I paid only like eight fifty nine for the Joe's juice, and it seemed to work really well. Wow, that dragonette is going to town on those tiger pods. Um, I want him to eat as many as possible. Wow, he is picking them. As you can see at his belly, he isn't... He's got a really kind of a small belly. I didn't like that. I tried to, you know, do whatever I could for him. Shrimp, frozen stuff. To be honest with you, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I want to do a refugium. Um... Honestly, I it's going to be I'm going to be looking into the media baskets I need and everything and the lighting and how to set it up and everything. Um the filtration um uh, middle compartment is so huge. I probably could spare it, literally half of it. Um you know, they make the refugium basket where your algae goes and then you mount you know you mount a light uh with magnets it has um you know it has the other media basket uh, i think that'd be fine unfortunately i actually kind of like the uh carbon filters that come with it now i don't think you can still um use those filters you know you have to use a completely different filter you probably have to get a couple pieces of floss or something maybe they make a small sock i could drop in there i'm not sure exactly how i could do that but uh it's gonna change things um you know and then the way i would be removing them out of the refugium and putting them in the tank is another issue so i know a lot of them can get sucked up by the pump but to be honest with you i don't want them dead either i want them also reproducing in the uh tank itself as well so Really, uh, you know, I'm excited that I added the Tigger Pods, but I feel like right now it's just like a temporary, you know, <laughs> a temporary thing where I constantly have to add more or, you know. Um, wow, he's picking them clean. Good for you, little buddy. Eat as much as you need to. 
they're all kind of looking for trigger pods. Don't be afraid to get on the glass scooter. <laughs> oh, little scoot scoot. He's so little. Uh, I'm definitely going to be feeding some shrimp probably tomorrow. I might even put a little bit in there today. Uh, the issue is, especially with him, as large as he is, um, you know, they eat small amounts multiple times a day. And with me giving them shrimp, they're only going to eat a little, little bit of it. And then they'll want a little bit more later on. I can't sit here and, you know, add, you know, shrimp five times a day or whatever in here. It's just too much. Um, especially as much as I have to add just for them to eat a little bit. It would be a ridiculous amount of waste. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely still categorized as an expert level fish. I see why now. Um, I didn't do as much research as I probably should have. Did you just fall and your shell landed like that? Look at this hermit crab. He's not happy. He's like, my shell. I fell, man. And my shell's right there. <laughs> He's like, dang it. He's like, I gotta move this. He's like, come on, you stupid shell. There you go. There you go, buddy. He's like, this is my shell. It's coming with me. Where you at, buddy? Let me film me, film me. Oh, there you go. You got it, bud. So, turbo snail just snailing along. I do like the, um, sorry. I do like the culturing of these rocks. It looks really, really beautiful, honestly. I hurry up and need things to culture because I want to cover up a lot of this white uh paste right there it will culture see it i just actually added that like not that long ago uh let me find a piece that's been there longer look at that one i mean you can see that it's quickly getting covered so it's gonna stand out for a while but i think eventually it'll get covered i could dig that out but changing that i changed the structure the way it was stacked it's just on that point right there that point right here is holding all the weight. It's only like stacked like right there. So I want to be careful. I mean, it's sturdier than it looks. I try moving. It doesn't wobble or nothing. Um, I just don't want it to fall or anything like that. Um, you know, so I'm just got to be careful around it. Uh, but it's holding up just fine. I'm actually glad the way it changed a little bit. It looks different, you know, and... You know, it just looks like a crazy little rock formation. Once this gets cultured a lot more and kind of blends in with the rest of the rocks, I think it'll look better. It's starting to kind of grow on me a little bit. You know, it's no uniform. It's just kind of a random rock formation, which I love. Plenty of places for things to hide at, fish, everything. Uh, when I was at the fish store, I asked about a uh, box fish, a horned one that looked really, really cool. Um, I thought they were going to get them this week, but they're not going to get them until next week. I was going to check them out. I don't know if I'm going to get them yet. Um, I honestly don't want to do any more fish. Maybe one, if it's the right one that I've been looking for and that I've been really, really, really wanting. Um, unless there's a death or something, which I hope not. You know, knock on wood. But uh, other than that, honestly, I'm really happy with the fish. Uh, it'd be cool to have a box fish, you know. Um, I really want the bubble tip. And the next, my goal in the next couple of weeks or a week or so, I really want that bubble tip anemone to come out more and do well for itself and get big again and beautiful. And hopefully, the uh, clownfish doesn't forget about it and kind of kind of goes back to it and starts hosting it again. If not, I'll have to get a new bubble tip uh, an enemy or some kind of an enemy like that that they like. Or maybe even a frog spawn or a hammer coral or something that they're known to host in. Um, honestly, I really wanted it to be the bubble tip. Uh, the bubble tip isn't dead or anything. It's just the position it's in and how it looks right now. Isn't that great? You can see it's coming out more and more, I feel like. So there's the light hitting it right there. I think if it fills in right there, it'll look really good, you know, if it just comes up. Um, so, you know, before it was completely hidden underneath that rock. So it is coming around. So if it comes around and gets that light and it gets obviously gets decent flow there, I think it'll be okay. Um, I'm probably going to feed them maybe tomorrow. Uh, let's see here when the last time I fed them real quickly. 
That's why it's so important to have one of these. Um, you can literally put down everything. So let's see. What did I do here? Uh, Brian Shrimp for the Dragonette. Photoplankton. I did Coralroids. My calcium was low. I dosed two or four milligrams. So, um, yeah. Let me see when it was last time I fed my anemone. Was... Uh, sorry. My handwriting so sloppy you wouldn't be able to read it anyways. Um, but I can read it. That's what matters. Shrimp and anemone. Okay, so last time I fed him was Sunday. And today is... No, I gave him some the other day. Unless I wrote it in the wrong day. I could have swore I gave it photoplankton yesterday. Yeah, I think I wrote this. This is supposed to be Wednesdays down here. So last time I fed him, I think, was uh, Monday or Tuesday. So I probably should feed him today, honestly. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to write it down and go ahead and feed him today. Uh, not too much. Um, you don't want him expelling and pooping a lot. Um, so I'm just going to, sorry, the little screen popped up, a little battery. So I'm going to get them fed. Uh, I'm just really happy that the Dragonettes have some, uh, Tinker Pods and the blue one is munching on them. Good for you, buddy. So I'm glad they're eating. They both ate. I saw them both pecking and eating um, the Tigger Pods, so I'm excited about that. I'm honestly still hoping at more than half should have made it to the rocks and other places, like even inside Chamber 1 is a good place for them to reproduce um, the bottom of it. You know, I know there's a little bit of suction if they get hooked up to one of the walls in there, and, you know, and they come out whenever they want. Obviously, some of the uh, photoplankton get sucked into there, so they eat that i've been dosing every other day photoplankton just a small amount it's probably like a little bit less than a capful so that way um they have extra food so they could easily re reproduce because the um coral also eats the photoplankton so i want to make sure that's why i've been increasing the uh coral roids to make sure that the um you know the uh the um the corals eat that and not so much of the photoplankton. There's enough left over, you know, for the tigger pods. So that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to hang out with you guys for a little bit, show you and tell you what's going on. Um, honestly, it still looks good. There's a tiny bit of, you know, a little algae here, a little bit there. I could just take the scraper, which I'm probably going to do. Not the scraper. The, the magnet will even work now since I've been cleaning it all the time. Uh, I just need to do that every couple of days. It just from the, you know, from all the nutrition I put in for these guys, uh, the, uh, I haven't checked on this in a while. Yep. The bubbles are still to the top. So the, um, let me make sure this filters all the way down. Now you can see, see how it's kind of puddling like all the way across this water, all the way across that filter is starting to get a little bit clogged up, not clogged up, but a little bit like needs to be cleaned or rinsed down. If that doesn't do it, I usually replace them pretty often considering how cheap they are. I get a two-pack for 10 bucks, so even if I get only two weeks out of a filter, I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, uh, you know, 10 bucks a month to maintain this isn't too bad. Uh, honestly, the most expensive maintaining because the doses, dosing bottles last so long is and the testing lasts so long is the Tigger Pods. You know, I'm constantly having to put in here. I've had the same frozen food since uh, I purchased the tank, pretty much. Uh, the Tigger Pods are twenty eight eighty eight. you know, and I've been doing almost one every week. So that's probably the most expensive cost right now. Um, but they're just so beautiful. It's one, honestly, one of my favorite fishes, if not my favorite. So, you know, I just want them to do well. And just keep that in mind, guys, before, you know, you think about purchasing one of those. Um, yes. He's cute. <laughs> he has kind of a personality. But they're extremely... Look how he flared up. <laughs> wow, Scooter. I love it when he like kind of flares up his little dorsal fin and everything. But uh, 
yeah, so hopefully more than more than 50% of the uh, little uh, tigger pods made it to the rocks. They can hopefully reproduce, have babies, and then more will come along. Um, but this battery is getting ready to die, so I'm not going to – I'm at the end of it anyway. So, um, you know, I'll feed the enemies and just kind of give you guys an update later on. Uh, there's a couple products I'm probably going to be trying out soon. I'll let you guys know about that. Um as always, any comments, please leave them below. Make sure it's family friendly. Um, any suggestions or anything, I'm open to it. And I do appreciate it because I am new in this hobby. Uh, anything I learn along the way, I'll make sure to share it with you guys. And, you know, I just really like the uh, community on YouTube. You know, I have an RC Cincy channel. RC Cincy, it's a channel. And it's a great community. And, you know, it's much bigger than this channel. And, you know, I have, like, almost 90 subscribers and over 12,000 views or so. And it's, you know, less than a year old. And I made plenty of good friends on there. And, we you know, we share information. We uh, sell, you know, we swap stuff, trade, sell. So it's a really, really, really cool community on YouTube. Um, I'm hoping, you know, this channel makes it to the same, you know, kind of community sense to where everyone shares information, helps each other, stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, there'll be plenty of more videos to come. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like it, uh, subscribe, share it with your family. This is a family-friendly channel. And then that's pretty much it for me. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.